everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I'm giving you guys another drone video so yeah this time I'm launching it out of the out of my backyard so yeah I don't know but um let's do it <laughs> It's actually very windy up there right now. I flew it this morning and it was 25 degrees. And it was, everything was iced over. And you can see that it all melted by now. It's like 4 o'clock, so. Actually, what time is it? Oh, it's 3.36. Yeah, it's not 4 o'clock. Huh? Oh wow, look, you can see those buildings way off in the distance. Way off in the distance. That's cool. So in my last video, I don't know if I told you guys how to look at the height, but it's right down at the H right here. It's like... This is the height, just right there. Well, I've circled over it. That's great. And, uh, we're max height. It says 120 meters right there, which is 400 feet, I think. I think. So, yeah. I love this drone. It's so cool. Oh. Whoa. My guy, I'm bringing you back down. This thing is getting blown everywhere. Yeah, so if you look back down at it, right there, you can see it going down. And it's counting in meters and not feet. And whenever, so right now it's 90 meters up, which is like 300, 280 feet, something like that. So, yeah. I always love flying it at this time. I don't know why. You can see the drone shaking. It is getting blowed. That might not be a good idea to fly it over the trees. Because last time I did that, the thing overheated right above the trees. And it started falling down really fast. And then it caught itself last second. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty nerve wracking. Whoa, dude. That thing's about to land on my roof. Alright, that was a little too far. Alright. Maybe it will actually land right because if you remember from last video it had a weird landing. I always like flying. These are the trees in my backyard. I don't know why I always like flying the drone up near it and just about running into it every time. Whoop, that was the wrong button. I always like just flying it around. Here, wait, let me get a good shot of the entire neighborhood real quick. So if I go up here and above those trees, speed up, let's speed up the drone a little bit. This is probably not a good idea, to be honest. Just fly it away, probably about 100 meters away. Yeah, there we go. Because that's when it starts losing signal. So I'm going to point the camera down. That is our entire neighborhood. And I don't know if you can see. 
but I am right here. You can't even see it because there's a shadow. But, um, yeah. I don't know, I always like doing that. Good gosh. This is kind of nerve wracking because it's very windy. Okay. I gotta get this thing up right here. And it's right over me. Oh, look, you can see the water tower. Right there. Right there. That's cool. And then, right here. That's the wrong button. And right here, you can see the city. All right there. Yeah. That is a very loud dog. That's barking. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but there's a dog barking its head off. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Wait, what if I land it in the front yard? Oh, there went a car. I don't know if that's a good idea, landing it in the front yard from the backyard. Because I'm not really good at, that, at landing it just using the camera to look. I'm not good at that at all. Why it tilts? It just tilted sideways whenever I put on the brakes. Oh, wait a second. I want to do something. Whoa, I almost hit that pine tree. Ah, that's not a good idea. My thing's getting blown around. Ah, <laughs> That was kind of scary. I might land it in this part right here. The mud part. I don't know how this is going to work. Nope, I'm not going to do that. That is quite dangerous. I mean, it's a big open space, but like, no. All right, let me land this thing. Bam! That was a good landing. Nope, nope. There we go. I had to straighten it out because it was trying to tip over. That would have not have been good. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.